What's up, everybody? What's up, world? This is your boy Trey Daniel again. Um, just speaking, I'm off the top once again uh, on just things that I've been thinking about and, and how I'm feeling. Today, I want to be, I want to talk about. Um, I like to talk about being insecure. Being insecure. And a lot of people may have a lot of a lot of uh, opinions about this and, and what insecure means to them. Um, but I, I, I picked this subject or topic because, you know, we, we, we speaking about insecure and, and being people being insecure and insecurities. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a good thing. Um, it's like this. So today, you know, I was talking to a friend and, you know, she basically goes on to tell me how, you know, she was on social media and um, she basically uh, accidentally put a, a wrong emo, emo, emojo uh, for, for a friend and his wife um, basically uh, ended up seeing it and commenting about it. Now, mind you, is it's, it's nothing going on between. Um, this young lady, this young lady that I'm talking about, and 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 the the, the young man's uh, post that she accidentally put the wrong e- e- emo on, um, is nothing going on between them at all. It's just a simple mistake. You know, we, everybody makes mistakes. Definitely when we talk about texting, and it's, it's, it basically look at it as a typo. Um, but uh, she goes on to tell me that basically, uh, so the, the the wife of the 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 man um, basically commented on the post. And to me, it's just like, you know, it's a simple mistake. Um, it, what makes it worse is that, you know, you, you, these people actually know each other. But I'm saying that to say, because I don't want to get too, many, too much into detail. I'm saying that to say is like, to me, it's like that's a sign of like insecurity. I mean, def- and, and, and definitely when you know this person and um, you know this person's intentions. Um, and then even trying to explain yourself, you know. She she was trying to explain herself that that it was a typo to to the to the wife I should say the young lady that I'm talking about was trying to you know explain herself like it was a it was an accident it was a mistake like it was nothing meant by it but um, again that's just going back to you know you know now the wife is like you know these are some insecurities that she's having and I'm saying this to say because like yo people why do we get ourselves into situations when we're insecure about something why do we get into relationships. Why do we get in, in, in these relationships with somebody and you're insecure? You know, you're insecure about something that happened in the past. You know, my, this is my thing. We all make mistakes. And no matter what the situation is. And right now I'm just talking about a, a, a relationship. It's like this. If you are dealing with somebody or dating somebody or any relationship with somebody that has cheated on you before or vice versa and... Um, yet the person still has insecurities and it's normal. It's normal, but it's like, yo, why get yourself into a situation when you have these insecurities? Like why even, even, why even as far as, you know, why even go along and, 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 and do that to yourself when you're being insecure about something that means something isn't right. So that means you're not all in. It's like, you're kind of in, but you're not all in. You can't be insecure in, 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 and, and go on about life. Like, basically, how can you be insecure and, and, and succeed? You know? And I'm not talking about... We're not talking about succeeding towards, towards money. I'm just talking about successes. Like, you know, just having a breakthrough, pretty pretty much. Um, you know, it being insecure is like... You're not too sure about... Yeah, that's what... You're not too sure about something or someone or even yourself. People, listen. It's like this. Again, we know... Listen. In this world, in society... Things do happen. Like, again, we could talk about relationships and people do cheat and and you know and, and make mistakes every day. It happens every day. But if you are that person in 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 that relationship and, and that person that cheated on you, and you ex- and you decide to accept that person back, but you have insecurities, it's not most likely it's not going to be a smooth running. It's not going to work because now every time that person goes out, he or she goes out, it's always in the back of your head. Like, if you're willing to let's forgive somebody, then forgive them. Completely forgive them. You know, let it go. You know, give them the benefit of the doubt. Now, if they prove you wrong, then that means, yo, guess what, man? It's time to make moves. It's time to change. That person is not for you. 
But going in, going into something with some, going into a situation with insecurities, man, you kind of, you're already losing. You're already losing because you're already going in with a negative, with a, with a negative mindset at some point. And you might, it might not anger you, but it, it's you thinking about what this person has done. So now it's affecting who you are or, or your decision. Are you acting out of character? You're acting out, you're acting act like a person that is really not you because of your insecurities. When you're insecure about something, man, it, it, it will affect you. Like this. If, you, if you're insecure about a situation, like, Think it through. And, and, and the nine times out of ten, you probably shouldn't go through with it. Or take it at a slower pace or do what you got to do to, to rid those insecurities. Because if you're going to something where the insecurities are still on 100, or not even it's 100, just period. Like, it's, it's I'm sorry, it's, it's, you're not getting yourself into a good situation. And we can talk about being insecure about yourself, being insecure about something or someone. Man, that's still, to me, that's a form of, of, of negativity, of negative thought. You know, I see a lot of people getting married but are insecure about a person. Like, hold on, you knew what you know what he or she did before y'all got married. And I'm not saying that they can't change, but again, you're you you've went to the extent to marry this person. The person that, that when you when we speak of or marriage, this is supposed to be a your lifetime partner. Your lifetime partner, how can you have insecurities with somebody that's supposed to be your lifetime partner? That's not gonna work. Insecurities, man, will, will, will hurt you. See, you know, people getting married, you know, it's like you're insecure about that person, but you're just getting married because you, you're living in that moment. It, it looks good. You can say you've done it before. Okay. A lot of people gotten, has gotten married before, but it's like the, the, the thing about it is, you know, how long does that last? I mean, it, it's, it's supposed to be a lifetime bond. We're speaking of success. You want to have a successful marriage. But you're not going to have a successful marriage if you're going into it with insecurities, people. Like, come on. Like, really. Stop setting yourself up for failure. Those insecurities are setting you up for failure. Stop it. If that person has broken your trust or whatever the case may be, don't just go jump into a situation like 100%. Give it some time then. So, so you can get eventually get so you eventually you can rid those insecurities, yo. We gotta get rid of our insecurities, man. We have to. Because it, with, with insecurities, it, it, there's no growth. How you how you how you growing? Or you, you're growing here, you're growing there. So it's basically like an uneven cut. I want balance. I want evenness. Insecurity, insecurity is creating an and is creating some form of unbalance in any situation. If that's making sense. So again, if you're insecure about something, someone or a situation, don't do it or take a different approach. You're supposed to be confident in what you do, not insecure. And do it with God. These relationships that where people are getting into Ask yourself, are y'all involving God? Are y'all of God? Are y'all people of God? Insecurities, a person of God, let's just be real, like a, 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 a true person of God, yo, don't, don't, we really, I mean, they don't have insecurities because they're secure in who they are. They're secure in God. And because they're secure in God, they're definitely secure in who they are. So, so granted, yeah, we do, we do meet people that do, that does bad things. So it's cool. But that, that that doesn't mean that we can, you know that we should go on and, and carry ourselves in a different manner, man. No, you gotta continue to be who you are. And I know it's easier said than done. But you cannot let somebody control your emotions. And definitely when you're insecure about a person, because that's exactly what they're doing. They're controlling your emotions, and now they got you thinking, thinking like, well, maybe you're crazy when it's, when it's, when that, when that's not the case. But you do have to check yourself. Think about every decision, every decision that you, uh, you know, think about every, put it this way. It's like, think about every situation and actually think it through. You know, don't go into a situation being insecure about something. 
Be confident. Be confident. If you're insecure, if you if you find yourself being insecure about something, yo, that means yo, yo, get on your hands and knees and pray to God and talk to him. Cause that insecurity is, is gonna kill you. And then not not and I'm not talking about, you know, physically, but it's gonna kill you mentally. You know? But that's not being insecure, man. That's not being confident in ourselves. Stop getting ourselves in the situations where we're not thinking it through, or again, we're, we're just being insecure. And I'm throwing that word out there again because this is what this is about. I'm talking about being insecure and insecurities. Let's rid those things, yo. Let's put God first. Be so confident. Let's be so confident in God that you have to be. You're gonna, you're gonna be confident in yourself. So when you're confident in yourself, you don't, don't, that out that rids those insecurities. So God be the glory. Thank God for allowing me to tell the story. Go be great. Go be who you are. Don't let anybody control you. Don't let anybody control your, your mindset or the decisions that you make going forward to, to greatness. And get rid of that. And, and, and please, and please get rid of the insecurities. Be confident in God. And being confident in God will automatically make, be, make you confident in yourself and who you are as a person. And won't nothing or any any anybody or anything slow you down or stop you from accomplishing your goal.